Hello, welcome back to Getting It Done North of 7. Today I'm going to show you how to change the water filter cartridge in your water system. The very first thing you want to do before changing the water filter cartridge is you want to turn off the water. You want to shut, turn it off at the water supply. Now you may have a water valve up here ahead of your water filter and you may have one afterwards. I don't have one ahead of it. I do have one afterwards that is actually after our ultraviolet water filter. But first I'll shut off the main water that comes into the home and then I'll shut off the water valve that goes to the rest of the house so that water doesn't come back this way even after I let the pressure out. So I shut the water off to the house. Now I went to the tap in the laundry room and I opened up the taps to relieve any pressure. Now I'm gonna turn off this valve that allows water to go to the house after the filters. And that's just so we don't have any water coming back into this area here where I take the filter off while I'm undoing the filter. Okay, now you should have a wrench just like this for undoing the cartridge housing. Um, here's a little tip. If you don't have one in your home, but you do have a camper or an RV, a lot of times your camper or RV will come with one of these wrenches. And it's usually the same size of cartridge and housing as it is for your home. So that's a good little tip there. So what we're gonna do, we relieved all the pressure and we're gonna undo this now to get the filter out. Now don't forget to relieve the water pressure or you might also bring a bar of soap with you because you're gonna be having a shower. That was just a little bit snug, not bad. Now I would suggest to have a bucket underneath for any, catch any water that drips. Um, I'm just in my basement, it doesn't really matter. I don't expect a lot of water to come out. So we'll just undo it by hand, a little bit of water come out. Okay, we got a little more water than we thought, but that's okay. We'll just let it come out. I got my arms wet. I actually do have another bucket here. So I'll just drain that water that was, I emptied the water that was in the cartridge holder right here. Now I'm gonna wash this out. There is some sediment in the bottom. So I'll wash and rinse all this out before we put the filter back in. As you can see, the filter here is kind of dirty. I have another replacement right here. And to note, while you're taking this off, there's a rubber seal here, a seal ring, an O-ring. It may be stuck up here still, or when you empty the water out of your cartridge holder that you don't lose that O-ring. You wanna keep an eye on that because you're gonna need it. Okay, so I cleaned up the cartridge housing or maybe some people call it a drum, not sure. I'm gonna add the new filter now. So in the new filter, you'll see like there's a hole. That's where the water goes into your filter. And then there's a hole here, but it doesn't go all the way through. This is the hole that fit goes down inside of your drum first. And inside the drum, and I'm not sure if you can see that, there is like a, a thing that sticks up there that, that will fit into that hole. So you wanna make sure it fits perfectly in there, just like that. You can see it doesn't go anywhere. Make sure your rubber seals in there. Now there is plumbing silicone that you can put on this uh, O-ring. So it's not hard to undo later on and it keeps your O-ring kind of flimsy, you know, it doesn't dry out as easy. I don't have any at the moment. Next time I change the cartridge, I'll make sure I have some. Probably this is why they colored the end of this uh, filter cartridge blue because the water comes in here. It's just another, another way of showing you which way to put it in. So we're gonna stick this back up here and we're gonna thread the drum back on. And that's basically it, tighten it up by hand, but don't go too crazy tight because you do have to undo it again someday. As long as it doesn't leak. And make sure that O-ring is in, in place. And we'll bring this back up here, the wrench, and we'll just snug it up. I think that'll be fine. We'll check it for leaks when we turn the water on. Okay, so now the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna go back and turn the water supply back on. Just turn the valve on slowly. Don't open it full blast right away. Just turn it on slowly and we'll check for leaks around here, around the water drum. And you can see the water trickling into there. See, I have a leak. See, that's why we go slowly. I have a leak for some reason. So I turn the water valve back off. We'll open this back up, make sure the pressure gets out at the laundry tub. This is good because you get to see this firsthand. Not everything works out perfect. Maybe I didn't tighten it up enough. Now that may have looked like I was really reefing on it, but I wasn't. So we'll open the valve slow again. 
And as you can see, there's no leaks. So I just didn't tighten it enough. Okay, open the valve flow. You can see there's no leaks. This valve here is wide open. So there's water coming out of my laundry tub now. I'm gonna let that run just for like a gallon or two. And that way it just flushes everything that was any dust that may have been on that filter from the factory. It flushes it and runs it through. So there you go. That's how you change your water filter cartridge in your home. We have no more leaks. That was my error that it did leak as I didn't tighten up the drum enough. If you want to see other home repairs we have, just go down in the description of this video. I'll put a link to a playlist so you can see more home repairs and I'll also leave a card at the end of this video where you can see that. So thanks for watching. I hope this video really helps you out. Hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it and we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.